Leveling at 15,000, approaching high key for whiff left runway 34. Copy, send in 12, call one there. Welcome home, Unity. Good, Dwayne. How are you today? Hopefully, we have a good day to fly today. Hey, good morning. How are you guys doing this morning? <laughs> hey, Roy. I've been a space nerd forever. Star Trek, Star Wars, any science fiction I could get my hands on. Uh, I knew I was going to be, uh, I wanted to work in the space program. Either that or be a veterinarian. I went with space. Uh, and uh, yeah, I've always definitely been a space nerd. Today is definitely not a typical day here. For the first time, we're gonna have a spaceship within the walls here at Spaceport America at our gateway to space hangar, something we've all been waiting for for quite a long time. The arrival of Spaceship and White Knight 2 from Mojave, California, where they were born and tested, is a graduation of sorts for the program. Uh, the flight from Mojave was just about over three hours in duration, piloted by Nicola Pacelli, Dave Mackay, CJ Sturkow, and Mike Masucci. Spaceship has traveled to space, and now it's crossing state lines, uh, traveling here from its birthplace back in Mojave, California. Currently 200 at seven knots, altimeter 3008. At Spaceport America, you have a spaceship. 1,000. 1,000, we're gonna land that runway. Right on. Traffic, uh, Galactic Zero Two, got a back taxi uh, down runway uh, one six and uh, taxi. Yeah, space isn't easy, right? Uh, uh, and and human space flight's even harder. To me, it's it's worth it. When I see spaceship, I think about the future we are building here, and I see the sacrifices we've all made to contribute to this mission. Being here to greet her when she arrives is a real special treat for me. New Mexico is really a perfect home for commercial space. It has a rich history in space travel, going back to the start of rocketry here in the United States. It gives us fantastic access and unrestricted airspace to operate our spacecraft. When I think back to a little over three years ago at our first captive carry flight for Unity back in Mojave, I said, we all have a dream to make this thing a reality. And here we are, it's finally a reality.